viewers and welcome to my brand new let's play my mo creatures survival series oh yes uh so i'm looking forward to this that's another one which uh didn't go very well let's get rid of that and start a brand new one uh i went in and it just it glitched out but it doesn't matter uh so yeah this is a brand new series which i decided to do because me and max we wanted to have some mo creatures but then we realized um, it was very difficult to do over a server, but we might be able to fix it soon or one day uh, But for now at least we're going to I'm just practicing with mo creatures kind of doing my own little thing Which should be fun uh, and practicing with the mod and I found a very good seed Yes, yeah, so I recommend this seed so generate structures on both our default allow chests on because I'm very bad uh, Cheats on in case uh, anything lags out or uh, something goes terribly wrong. Uh, I won't cheat but just in case I don't know some Something that shouldn't have happened does happen. Bonus chest just so I can get a good start because I'm not very good with mo creatures. And I don't know what will kill me and what won't. And of course, uh, game mode, not hardcore, not creative, but survival. Now, let's jump in. And here we are. Our world has spawned and we are lagging the hell out. So I chose this seed because there are a whole lot of biomes all squished into a relatively small space. Which is exactly what we need for mo creatures. Uh, because um, because you get different creatures in different biomes. So, for example, here we have a lot of snakes in the mountainous regions, with boars and bears and whatnot. And of course, we have our usual Minecraft creatures, kind of horses, sheep, cows, all our mobs. But this is a lot more dangerous, and a lot more things will kill you. Things will kill you at day as well. Like balls aren't that good. I had a bit of practice earlier. Uh, but generally, I have no idea what I'm doing right now. <laughs> So we'll see how that goes. And that didn't give me any tools, which isn't good. It gave me wood, but no tools. So let's jump straight in and build. I don't really like this wood. So let's use this wood to build a crafting table and some sticks. Okay. Uh, apologies for the lag. It will lag less uh, when everything's kind of, when the, once the world is finished generating. But that might take a while or like generating the immediate vicinity. So it shouldn't take, shouldn't be too bad as we're kind of going to stay in one area. So yeah, there's a, gonna, there's a, there's a desert right here with a snow plateau, just, well not slow, but just a big hill up there with some snow on it, which is always nice. Uh, see, there's a desert down here, the sea's right there, so we should get a whole variety of mobs. This is a snake, I don't know whether it will hurt me or not. It seems to be, yeah, yeah, he seems to be peaceful. Uh, so the lag will be a lot better very soon and I can turn the render distance up just just while it's generating right now it won't be the best so anyway I'm playing in Minecraft 1.7.2 as that's the most recent version I could find of Mo Creatures this oh so brilliant mod if you want to download it I'll leave a link to in the description to its um, page on Minecraft forums and if you need any help downloading it I was going to make a tutorial video but there are about a thousand other people on um, YouTube that, that make vastly better tutorial videos than I ever could so just type in um, how to download mo creatures with forge and you will easily get a quick answer and you can play it as I'm playing but hopefully with a lot less lag uh, it will smooth out soon that's a promise because I was recording earlier testing it um, and it was it smoothed out very quickly uh, the reason I'm not, not recording on that world is I wanted a fresh start and I wanted the day to pass normally so here we go I, go. I think we have enough cobblestone here to make a full batch of stone tools. Ow! How dare you do that to me? This bread will come in handy. Uh, I think there's also a desert village very close, a normal village very close. So we could kind of go there and make that our home, or we can make our own home. We could start off in that desert village, but I'm sure we can work our way out soon enough. Uh, let's... Three... Uh, that, 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 you got that, you got that, you got that, and we got that. Absolutely spiffing, and let's take our crafting bench with us, crafting table with us. One, two, three, four, zero, perfect. Right, in fact, now let's change this up just a bit. Right, good, I think we're in a happy spot starting this early on. Very, very happy. So hopefully you won't get killed by too many mobs during the day. I might get some shit now. Uh, 
obviously we can't craft saddles. Well, I don't think, maybe Mo Creatures lets you craft saddles, but for the time being we'll have to find saddles in a chest if we want to get a horse. Let's kill a bunch of sheep, because I can't be bothered to make shears, and I doubt we'll stick in this area for too long. Remember this beach, because I have a feeling we'll be coming back to it if I ever <laughs> die without a uh, bed near, or if I die in the... No, no, if you die in the nether, then you go back. I don't know. Alright, cool. We got enough for a bed, so let's, uh, let's go up this hill here, and have a look over, and wind down our red distance. Let's put it right at the lowest point to avoid lag. I promise it will lag less, and I will be able to crank up my rent distance, but for now, let's keep it nice and low. Nice and low and safe. Oh, oh. I hear a hissing a snake. I'm gonna leave the snake alone for now. Oh, that's scary. I don't know if. I kinda wanna hit them, see how strong they are, but I, I don't know. No, I think I'll lay off. I'll lay off them for a bit. Let's stick onto the plains because I think we will bump into a village in due course. And my god, there are a lot of horses. Hello, horsey. You look like Dusty. A town called Mercy. Oh, we got a swamp here. A bit of that. No, I think that's like a very small swamp uh, with plains right next to it. Plains with very low, very um, low rent distance. <laughs> I look forward to being able to see this world in its full, like, capture of beauty, but for now. Just have to stick like this. Oh, and look, some ducks! Oh, different colours! Oh, that's a cool thing. I might download um, damage indicators just so I know kind of which mobs will be more difficult to kill and all that. Um, oh, oh, hello, Bear. Hello, how are you doing? Apologies for the lag, Mr. Bear. I really want to hit you, but you will kill me, so I won't. I'm really curious to see what will kill me and what won't, but um, I know everything pretty much will, so I'll lay off. <gasps> a panda! Oh, hello, Mr. Panda. Aren't you a cutie? Uh, so we're way through the plains. I think I'm at another desert here. But I... Oh! Did you see that? Did you see that? We got some Ents. We have got some Ents. Oh, like from um, Lord of the Rings. Got some brilliant Ents over here. Oh, they got a um, few elephants spotted around. That doesn't compare to these. Oh, I get, oh, Bambi! Oh, no, that's not Bambi. I apologise, you're not Bambi. Oh, they look so cool. Uh, they are... They will kill me if I try to fight them, which I will soon. <laughs> now, let's just marvel at them and their brilliant beauty. Hello. God, they're cool. There are a lot of them here. I wonder if they'll get angry if I chop down a tree. I should really start kind of thinking about trees. Uh, just general working. Right now I've just been wandering around. I should start thinking about finding iron and all that. All that, you know, standard Minecraft jazz. Weirdly, I turn my rent distance up and I'm lagging less than I was than when it was very low. So I'll stay on this for now. I feel like I've jinxed it though. Just now. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be okay. Uh, okay, here we go. Here's some ducks. Uh, I guess, no, they're chickens. They're definitely chickens because we actually have ducks and no creatures. So we can really prove they are chickens. Speak of chickens. Do I have some bread? Don't know exactly how that speak of chickens, but oh well. So the reason I'm kind of making this is right now Max and me are kind of making a, a normal survival, which we wanted to be Mo Creatures, but then we thought it would be too difficult. We might introduce Mo Creatures at a later date. So this uh, Let's Play is just kind of experimenting with the mod a bit, just kind of seeing how things work so I'm not completely clueless do begin because there are a lot of things this mod has recently introduced including whole new dimensions I think the wyvern or wyvern dimension or all these ends and stuff uh, it's not just animals you've got uh, like fantastical creatures you've got some ogres um, so it's a lot of new stuff hello kitty cat are you a cat I think you're a cat yeah just meowed oh that's cute um, hell even the guy who made this Dr. Zarx or Dr. Zarks, I think his name's Dr. Zarx they're the guy, Mojang, actually got to help them when building the horses for 1.7. So this guy definitely knows what he's doing when it's, it comes to creating kind of mobs and creatures. This is a big ass savannah. Where's the sun? Uh, it is setting now. I, if I should really start thinking about making camp. Uh, camp. There we go. 
Oh, oh, I've been poisoned already. That's not good. Not poisoned. Hunger. Hunger for 25. Uh, let's head over to this hill. I feel like there'll be something in here. We really shouldn't be... In fact, no, no! Oh, wait, balls. Let's stay away from the balls. If we quickly make a little hut here, and we can make a bed, that means we can just sleep through night immediately and carry on exploring. So I'll set up for when night will come. So, got my wool. Got my bed. There we go. Beautiful. Uh, I'll spread it out because I don't want... Often it kind of glitches a bit and uh, you have to respawn back and spawn if your bed is placed too near a wall or something. So let's quickly... I think... Yeah. I'll build back a bit more. I'll also make a furnace. Uh, oh, I don't have any coal though. Or maybe we'll... Um, we might find some now. I doubt it though. But let's just skip till night to make things a lot more interesting. Well, depending on your point of view, I think things will be more interesting if I survive for a while and don't lose my inventory like I do oh so very often. Uh, is it night time? Yes, I can only sleep at night. Oh, there's some cows over there. Come on. Just mine up the ceiling. Just to avoid any circumstances of me. Well, I guess I'm going to destroy my bed anyway and take it with me. So I don't need to worry too much about it. But I've got a little alcove here. So, yeah, as I'm in 1.7.2, right now Minecraft's in 1.7.9. But as I'm playing in 1.7.2, a lot of the glitches that happen, well, all the glitches that happened in 1.7.2 are still here. Kind of like the glitchy textures on the beds. And I think. For some reason, you can't swap out certain things. So I think if I had, like, a stack of torches and then two more torches, I couldn't, like, swap them over or something. Uh, so it's very slightly glitchy, this version of Minecraft. So nothing that will um, tremendously spoil our experience. What could spoil our experience is me getting killed by a boar. So I should really move on. Move away from that boar. Right, let's kill these chickens and then move on. We need to find some coal. I think I've been getting too cocky. Exploring round this new terrain. So let's hopefully that's a uh, that's a cat. A lot of cats here. What's this? Oh, it's a little rat. All right, we can kill the rat. No offense. I just want to see what it drops. Nothing. <laughs> so I can introduce some more mods. I'll introduce a uh, damage indicator soon. I I would like to introduce maybe a Doctor Who mod because I know that's something people will like. I might try out the Dalek mod as well because uh, that seems to be the best Doctor Who mod. Uh, out of the out of the current moment, so I, I can play on that. So I need to practice with that because I am going to introduce it in the episodes. That along with a mixture of my own kind of resource packs and my own commands to create enemies and whatnot. And uh, I really need some coal because I think you can make. I tried earlier. I tried making charcoal, but for some reason I just couldn't. Uh, okay, I guess I'll have to eat some raw chicken. I'll, be, I'll finish all this raw chicken. Okay, cool. I can run now. Uh, tempted to fight a snake, but I won't. Uh, where are the well, There are no caves out here right now. I really need to find some sort of cave and maybe somehow find my way back to the. Ah, there we go. Oh, yes, good. I was about to say find my way back to some sort of grasslands plains, but here we go. Ah, oh, perfect. I was getting worried there. A village. A village, which I guess shall act as my home for a while. Because this is in a perfect terrain, right next to Savannah and right next to a desert. Hello, Mr. Villager. Oh, that's a good deal. I could probably do, do that deal right now. Let's look for a blacksmith or for someone who may have a chest. Nothing in here. Nothing in here. No door in here. Oh, speaking of which. Yeah, I think I'll just take this house, pretty much, because I like oak wood, I like oak wood. I'll take these, I'll take all the actual wood, I won't take the planks, because then I'll feel bad. There we go, I can just make this into oak wood, and perfect! So we've got a good supply of oak wood. Uh, God, this is big! Oh, I was only in that section, now I turn around and actually see most of the village. It is a very big village. Some of these houses are big, and they've got a little pet bear! That's cute. Uh, anything in here? Oh, yes, there we go. A chest. Oh my god. Oh my, this is a... <laughs> Talk about skipping a few steps here. I've already got almost full iron armor. Wow, 
I'll take the chest as well. That is bloody perfect. I'll put a torch here in remembrance of this moment. Look at this! Hey! Oh, absolutely perfect. Slightly unoriginal, but okay. <laughs> Sorry. Don't worry, I'll be wearing my fez very soon. Hello, Monsieur Ent. Anything? Nothing? This is going a lot better uh, than uh, some of my experiments with my creatures early on. Because I did start one world and I was recording at one point, but it just went so badly. It, it was a terrible world. I used I used the wrong seed and everything. It was very messy. Right, let's, let's take some of their books. They won't be able to read. <laughs> Take your books, lovely jubbly, thank you very much. Oh, don't let me hit you. Uh, there we go, 21 books. Absolutely spiffing. Oh, they've got foxes and everything. Oh, this is going to be generated. Hello? Have you got anything good, sir? 20 wool? That sounds bloody brilliant, that does. Uh, take their fence. Because fence is worth quite a lot. It's worth a lot of sticks. So it's good to have it. Although, still no coal. They won't have. No, they won't have cold blocks. What might they have? They might have gravel, I guess. <laughs> well, they will have gravel. That's pretty much it. Oh, okay. Don't know how he could get home at all. I, uh, I should probably build like a step up to his house. There we go. Jesus. This is a strangely spawned house, but well, whatever floats your boat, I suppose. Have fun getting into that, Mr. Villager. We looked in everything. Ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, damn it. Out my bloody way. Don't let me hit you. Okay. Uh, oh, some flint. Flint's always good. I should really start harvesting their crops. Brilliant. Uh, you should re oh, you should. I can't, I would re-harvest them, but then I feel I just won't come back here. So I might keep a hold of these and I'll re-harvest them when I make my own farm. When that day does come. Does eating a rotten potato poison you? <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> well, I just like to go I don't know whether it'll give you hunger or... Yeah, only poison. Whether it'll give you hunger or... I guess poison. And we learned that the hard way, didn't we? Uh, well, maybe I should make... Although I do like living in the houses. Oh, Because I should really start thinking about emptying my inventory. Uh, is there anything I can put on? No. Uh, no. I think I've got one empty start in the oh, this is good. So when I find iron, I won't need much. All I really need is an iron sword, iron pickaxe, and an iron chest plate, and that's it. Blood! Just... I think this is two villages. I wouldn't be surprised if this is two villages kind of locked together. Um, big empty house. Um, ooh, this can be my house, actually. Yeah, this is quite a nice house. I, I'll make this my house for the time being. I might make like a bigger entrance. So this can be the back door. There you go. A wee torch. I might make a big old entrance out here. Uh, God, this is a lot. Might uh. I don't have any. I don't have a bucket. So you're definitely using a bucket. With a quick way to harvest all of this. Alright, I'll just harvest everything here. Oh, my inventory is full. I shall have to empty something. Uh, I'll just empty some poppies, some seeds. Uh, I don't really want to empty anything else though. Everything else here is quite, quite good. I want to pick up these carrots though. Uh, and this wheat. Oh, don't, don't, don't mind me. Just move, move out of the way. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hit you. I'm just going to go harvest. I think we're hitting a hitting moonlight so let's go and sleep quickly because I do not want to risk this uh, let's sleep here I think yeah this is the big house and I, I'll add the door in oh where's the door here we go oh yeah see like it doesn't swap half the time well, that might have just been a failure of me clicking and I won't destroy this bed so this will be my spawn let's put that there oh Wonderful. I don't think I've ever had a better survival. I mean, yeah, it was slightly laggy at the start, but a better start to a survival. This is just brilliant. Okay, so uh, uh, we can put some stuff down in my chest. Oh, uh. Uh, 
so we don't need that yet. We don't need that. 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 No. 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 Um, we can put down one of my crafting tables here. I'll keep some carrots and some of this stuff on me. Put down a crafting table and a furnace. Uh, we, do we need everything else? I think we might. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think we'll need everything else. Oh, I don't need my seeds. Do I have any more torches? I don't think so. I'll think about replanting some of this stuff. I can't really be bothered now. I'm, I'm, I'm very keen to uh, find a cave. So, I think I might make some sort of decoration on this house. Just so it's clear that this is my house. Uh, what decoration can I make? Just a, just a wee little thing. Just like some, uh, just a small torch at the top. With a, uh, there. I can improve on that later. Just so I don't have to look... Uh, left and right. Oh, it doesn't. It looks slightly inappropriate, but that's fine. Oh, I can steal some of these torches. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, that's my torch, but oh uh, well. Okay, let's head back to the grasslands because I think that's where caves spawn most frequently. I might have just dragged that fact out of thin air, but for some reason it sounded right. And I can shear all of these sheep. I can breed them, and then I can use their wool to get that beautiful, beautiful emerald. I thought this would have been a cave, but it's not. Where's a cave? Oh, look at all these wonderful creatures. We'll definitely be encountering some creatures inside the cave, if we're lucky. Uh, wait, where the... So it's north. Okay, so we're heading south of... south of the village. We should really get a compass of sorts. Uh, sorry, there you go. Where are a cave? Any caves anywhere? Sorry, my thing keeps freezing up. There, there's some bears. Oh, there must be a cave somewhere. Can't be too far. There's something down there? If I'm not- Oh! Oh, this is definitely something! Um, may I, I know what I'll do. I can make the river flow- Oh, this is- Oh, this is wonderful! Glitchy um, walls. I think that's a fault of mine, not the actual seed. This is oh no wonder I could find this so easily. This is this seed. This is some amazing seed we've got here. Let's just plop down a torch. Oh, okay, okay. Don't want to mess with you. Uh, let's quickly get her off. Get her off. Get her off. Get her off. Okay. Okay, I'm very low on health, actually. You should be careful, because there's a zombie there. Alright, let's head up. <laughs> I don't want to die this early on. That would be rather depressing. Wait for my poison to go. Back off, back off, zombie. Don't want to die right now. Do not want to die. Instead of dying, I could make a beacon, as you can probably tell by now. I'm a bit of a fan of beacons. So maybe we can make a big one, because then we can just jump in. Uh, yeah, so the village is off that way, and we've got a river right there, a desert right there. This is perfect. Sploosh! Okay, so we shouldn't be losing track of this. It's just, oh, that was close. Okay, let's, let's, uh, mine up this coal. Better pick up this. Uh, so I'm looking, I'm looking very good on armour, so I, I don't need much iron. We can explore quite deep down, I suppose. Uh, I think that's mine on this level here, actually. Come on, fix on. Ugh, I hate these uh, lighting glitches. They really spark up my OCD. Because this will look amazing once all the lighting glitches have been taken care of. Uh, I don't know how many new mobs actually spawn in the caves. I think scorpions do. Uh, I'm not sure about what else. I don't know whether many normal animals will. Check. All right, let's make a, a wee bridge. We also need a bucket, of course. Buckets are vital, especially if we're doing deep cave exploration, which involves lava and maybe collecting obsidian because water will save your life. As you'll, I don't know if, in fact, I won't spoil it, but uh, me and Max were playing survival and lava was a bit of an issue for me. <laughs> I won't spoil what happened. Oh, see, that was almost spoiling what happened. But lava is always an issue. 
Let's light this area up. Okay, there's uh, there's some iron just there. Let's go grab that. I don't really like strip mining too much. I mean, firstly, it's boring to watch, and it's kind of unnatural, I guess. I mean, I might go. I am. I occasionally do just go down to level 12 or 11 or whatever it is, and just strip mine, and that does get you diamonds. But on the most part, I like stumbling across diamond naturally, kind of running along caverns and finding it in a lava. That's a lot more exciting to me than just digging in a straight line. Right, let's get that iron. Uh. Here we go, right here. Hopefully the brightness is okay for you guys. I can't imagine it being too much of a problem, as I am not playing with any um, textures or textures with any shaders or anything. Right, let's. Uh, oh, I was about to say let's go down to the bottom. So I guess we sorted that out for ourselves. Um, oh, I got some sticks. Let's just. That will save a bit of coal in case we need some. But yeah, it's more than enough just for now. Uh, anything along here? No, just at the end. Alright, let's head down into this cave. It's still very bright. That's what I like about these sort of chasms. Is you're in a cave, but it's of course still very bright. Uh, there's a creeper. Oh, there's the uh, thing that the witch I slew. I slayed and I slew. Ah, oh, there we go. First creeper explosion of the Let's Play. And on that note, let's let's create a new. On that note, a new pickaxe. Because my stone one is literally about to run out. Any second now. I can predict it. But no, we need cobblestone there. Perfect. Uh, how much iron do we have? We can start smelting now, I guess. Uh, did I leave... I left my furnace at home, but I can just make another. So we've got plenty of cobblestone, and we finally have some coal. It took us some sweet-ass time. But here we go. Uh... Nice. Alright, so while I'm waiting for this to smelt, I think we can end the episode off there. So on a very successful opening, I've literally, I just opened a tab, <laughs> my bad. Uh, we've, we have started our Let's Play. We've stumbled across a village, we've found a few Ents, a few various creatures. We haven't really had a major battle yet, but I'm sure we will in due course. And next time we'll explore this cavern, find a few more creatures, head back to the village, and get myself a full iron chest plate. I'll see you then. Boop.